Okay, students. Now we are going to see the next part of the chapter that is anti-fertility drugs. Anti-fertility, fertility drugs. The drugs which is against the fertility that is called as anti-fertility drugs. It is used, students. It is used to control control the population. It is used to control the population. Population that is also called as by family planning. For family planning, we are using these anti fertility drugs. Family planning. Now, students, this is very important for the family planning. These drugs are a mixture. How these drugs are prepared? These drugs are the mixture. It is a mixture of synthetic. Estrogen mixture of synthetic synthetic estrogen and synthetic progesterone progesterone derivative which are hormones which we call as these are the estrogen and progesterones are the hormones which are hormones. So this is about the anti-fertility drug students. Now in synthetic students we are going to see the second part of the that is synthetic progesterone. The students in synthetic progesterone that is first one synthetic progesterone progesterone which is used as an anti-fertility drug which we are using as a anti fertility fertility drugs we are using as a anti fertility drugs this example is no way to draw now students we draw the structure of the this progesterone drug progesterone derivative because we have got from the progesterone when you see the molecular formula students it contains carbon 20 Number of hydrogen will be twenty six. Oxygen will be two. Now, students, we will see the structure of this uh, structure of progesterone derivative. This is also called progesterone. It is made up of because it contains C twenty. That means the total how many C twenty means twenty carbon will be there. So one uh, benzene will contain six. So six fours are thirty two twenty eight. So it will be six threes are six benzene will be able to make like this. This is the first hexagonal structure. Second hexagonal structure and third hexagonal structure you have to make like this. And one will be the pentagonal structure. Students, this is the pentagonal structure. This is the basic unit. Now, students, it because it contains C twenty, so here will be the because it is also called as ethane. So, students, uh, here the carbon carbon triple bond will be there. Now, because it is C twenty, it will also contains one more methyl group that is CS three. This is C twenty. Now, students, we will draw the total number of double bond. So, here it has three double bond, uh, four double bonds, one double bond with oxygen. That is why it is called as what ON because of this. Now, students, here one hydroxyl group is there because two oxygen is there. One oxygen from this hydroxyl, one from this. So this is the structure of students. No refilled The common name is this, and this is acts as a anti-fertility drug. Anti-fertility drugs. Now, students, second part we are going to see that is strong derivatives. Strong derivative for female. Female should take that is called as strong derivatives. Estron, estrogen. We call it estron, uh, estrogen derivative. The name is estrons, ethine, ethine, estrodiol, estrodiol. That is also called as what? This is also called as novastrol, novastrol. Now, students, when you see the molecular formula, it it also contains carbon twenty, hydrogen twenty four, and there is two oxygen. This is the molecular formula of this compound. Strong derivative that is called as a novastrol. Because it contains carbon twenty, students, you have to make the hexagonal structure. Total three hexagonal structure, and this is the nucleus you have to make first. One will be the pentagonal structure. This will you have to make. Because it is the name is OL, so you have to make students here. This side will be OH, and here also there is a OH group is attached. Now here, students, there is a ethane group, which is attached to the here carbon-carbon triple bond is there. 
Now you can see here total number of double bond will be only three double bonds will be there, and because carbon twenty one methyl group will be here. So this is the structure of Novastrol. It is very important anti-fertility drugs that is called as Novastrol. Novastrol is very important drugs. It is also called as anti-fertility. It will against the fertility. So that is why it is called as anti-fertility drugs. Fertility drug. This is also used as anti-fertility drugs. Now students, we will see the some second type of drugs that we call as anti-acid and histamines. That is the last one students we are going to see the types of drugs. We call as anti-acid, anti-acids, and anti-histamines, anti-histamines, histamines, anti-acid and anti-histamines. What is the examination students sometimes are asking? What is anti-acid? So this definition you have to write in examination students. Now examinations are very near to you. So you have to learn it, students. Anti-acid, anti-acids is a base because it is against the acid. That is why it should be the the substance should be basic in nature. And anti-acid base which neutralizes, which neutralizes, neutralizes, which neutralizes substance which is the acid which is excess acid which is present in our stomach. Excess acid, excess of acid in the stomach. That we call as substance anti-acid. You know substance. Which are the bases we students? First, you know sodium bicarbonate that we are eating, sodium bicarbonate, and metal hydroxide students. Any metal hydroxide, hydroxides of the metal you know students. Aluminium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. So magnesium and aluminium, you can take. Now students, second part we students we are going to see anti-histamines. Anti-histamines. Against the histamines, the drugs which we are using that is called as anti-histamines. First students, you should know what is histamines. You know, see, students, histamines, histamines, students. What is the function of the histamines? Histamine in the stomach, students, in the stomach, if the histamines, stomach, in the stomach, it will stimulate, stimulates, it will stimulate the secretion of HCl. Secretion, because of the these histamines, lot of HCl will generate in our stomach. HCl as well as what pepsin, pepsin. students what is the function of anti histamines anti histamines anti histamines students compete with the histamines compete there is a competition between the histamines and histamines it will compete with the histamines histamines in the binding binding with the receptors the receptors which are present in the stomachs in the stomach wall hence they decrease the secretion simple students it will decrease the secretion of these acids decrease the secretion that means there is a less amount of hcl will generate in our stomach this it will the secretion of hcl will decreases now students when you see the example one very popular example first we will see the structure of histamines students then afterward we will draw the structure of antihistamines structure of histamines students You should know the structure of histamines. Since it is a, it carries two nitrogen, pentagonal structure, heterocyclic compound histamines, and this is the structure. It contains three nitrogen. It contains how many nitrogen? Three nitrogens. And there is a double bond here. Now, since when you see the structure of the histamines, 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 molecular formula is C five, total five carbon. And nine hydrogen, and there is a three nitrogen. This is the structure of the histamine system. Now we will see the structure systems of antihistamines we are taking. That is antihistamine systems, ranitidin, ranitidin. Doc doctors are prescribing this drug systems. If anybody has got acidity, that is also called as gentac. Gen this is also called as common name is gentac. When you see the molecular formula, students, histamines is it contains 13 carbon. High total number of hydrogen will be 22. It contains four nitrogen, three oxygen, and one sulfur. This is the molecular formula, students. So it also contains four four ring like this. This side because it contains one sulfur group, you have to make one sulfur group, and it is containing nitrogen. Total number of nitrogen is 
four of the one more nitrogen will come here. So this is the structure of the students, ranitidine, ranitidine, very important students. This is also called a gentec. So this is the structure. Sometimes in examination they asking students, what is the structure of ranitidine? Now students, next we will see the structure that is called as next antihistamines students that we call as cimetidine. Cimetidine. Cimetidine uh, students, the common name is what? Tigamate. Tigamate. Yeah, it is also called as tigamate. When you see the molecular formula, students, it contains 10 carbon, uh, hydrogen 16, nitrogen 6, and 1 sulfur. So, this is the molecular formula of cimetidine. What will be the structure, students? When you see the structure, there is a 2 nitrogen in the ring. 1 hydrogen will be here. When you see here, will be 1 methyl group. Because it contains 1 sulfur, so you have to make the 1 sulfur group like this. It also contains nitrogen. And this is it, which is one more nitrogen with cyanide, other with amines which contains one methyl group. This is the structure of strong cimetidine. This is also called as T gamete. This is antihistamines drug. Doctors, if anybody is suffering, doctors are prescribing these drugs. Now, third antihistamines students that is called terfenadine. 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 Terfenadine students, this common name is cell done. Cell done. When you see the molecular formulations, the total number of carbon is 32 carbon there and hydrogen is 41. In molecule it contains one nitrogen only and two oxygen. So this is the molecular formula students. Now we will draw the structure. So it is a heterocyclic ring carrying one nitrogen. Here will be the nitrogen. Now it containing one hydroxyl group. Here it has two phenyl group. Now students, this is also contains with one hydroxyl group here. Here will be one hydroxyl group. Now it is connected with the methyl group. This carb has three methyl group. This is when you count the total number of carbon, there will be 32 carbon strings. This is the structure of seldom. This is also used as a antihistamines. If anybody is suffering from this doctor, they may prescribe these drugs. Now, last drug antihistamines strings we are going to see. The fourth one is antihistamines drug is bromophenidamine. Bromophenidamine. Bromophenidamine students, it is also called as dimetap. When you see the molecular formula students, this drug it has 16 carbon, hydrogen, there is 19 hydrogen, 1 bromine, and 2 nitrogen atom will be present in the molecule. This molecule contains this. When you see the structure students, it has got one heterocyclic atom as a nitrogen in the ring, which is again, again connected with the bromine ring. Uh, this is the bromine which is attached to the benzene ring. Now, students, here you may have one more carbon and then it is connected with the nitrogen. Nitrogen has three valency, one with methyl, other valency is also fulfilled with the methyl group. So this is the structure of bromo because it contains bromo atom, that is why it is called as bromo phenyramine. Phenyramine. It is also anti drug, students. Thank you, students. If you like my video, please subscribe it. Thanks a lot.